we are a, truly a holographic being that has offloaded all of its qualities and conditions and therefore the alien strains are beginning to reveal themselves not as something else but in a way a deeper allowance of our own greater roots. Because think of star travel as star seeding, meaning it's not to go there because you would impose yourself on a planet, but to seed yourself into that planet. And think of that not being one system, because in a hologram, interestingly enough, like an atom, you have to cover the field of all the probabilities. If you think of reaching a point where what we need to know can't be known by simply building another piano. In other words, there really is this question of how do we trust the instrument? How do we trust that the deep archaeology of who we are is showing up, mm -hmm. but is showing up humanized? Otherwise, it would sweep us away. Mm -hmm. And when it does, usually it becomes very confusing for people. Yeah. And I do feel like that's why everything wants to bring us back, really, like the universe collapsing into the palm of the hand, saying, I want to calm your heart, because herein, is the truth that you are all of this, but also the great gift that you are uniquely you. Understand that this on 9-11-2001 express, expressed itself as the hieroglyph of the human soul. This is what it told me it was. Ten years into working on the hieroglyph of the human soul, I think, well, what's the acronym? And it's T-H-O-T-H-S, which is Thoth, or Thoth's Library, which helps us understand the journey of as above, so below. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Wow. Wow. Yeah. This is it, it, that's why, if you think about a symbolical theater, everything that is a picture language is trying to establish as the ancestors have. Once we can talk in pictures, your ancestors might interpret the pictures differently, but they're going to hit on the same, in a sense, notes, the same qualities. And this is one of the things to our pattern now to understand that this journey that begins on 9-11, and I've been painting every day for the last 17 years, is the story of a deeper devotion and love to the story of at least where I live, let these things matter. And I think art is for all of us where we see not the judgment of others, but the welcoming, saying if we can inspire one another rather than critique one another, we'll hold a space not of debate, but of celebration. And that's why this is my home. I think it's very important to think about context. In your home, you live in 24 hours a day. So you're going through all the weather conditions of your life. And when you're at home, you're living with those you love. And that you have to navigate the different personalities. Love is a difficult thing, but so is a well-written play. You know, so was a well-painted uh, painting, and we're great art. If we were, in a sense, not so complex, if we could unriddle ourselves, we'd be far less interesting. But the deeper we go into the mystery, as we know, the deeper the mystery takes us. And that's really what happens in this room. In, the, in the, the story of the hieroglyph of the human soul, this journey that across the ages we've been asking over and over again, what does it mean to be human? And we couldn't know the answer until we had established that question across vast amounts of time and context, so that finally we would be given the gift that says, as you enter this and I enter this, or as Daniel enters this, as another person enters this, it really is as the, the function of, of a cosmic womb, saying, I want to remind you that no matter what Lee says, it's his story. Like the tarot, right? I might tell you what this, that, right. but, but let that be a jumping off point because it wants to talk with you. It doesn't want me to talk for it. It wants, right. uh, essentially, almost you'd say, like, like a, a one who introduces. You're much more interesting than you think. You're the tool to your own creative and imaginative awareness. And guess what? You came to this planet to figure out how to integrate it into how you live. Not to be who you are, but to truly become that quality that willingly over and over again 
steps into the question of life, brings a book back to the library because it's been lived over and over again to realize we're part of an enormous conversation. So that's, that's why I'm glad you're having your conversation. <laughs> <laughs>